Hi everyone, welcome to Sense in Essence. Today we are going to talk about rising in love. Now this rising in love is a very, is the opposite of what we very often hear uh, when we are involved in some relationship, especially of a spouse or a companion or a partner. We hear this word very often and hear these songs also very often um, which refer to uh, love as falling in love. Now falling is something that we all don't like, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but falling in love uh, also denotes that there is pain involved, there is sadness involved, there is sorrow involved in that love. But true love um, makes us rise above. It uplifts us always. And that rising uh, love is, or rising in love, is when we are able to connect with higher love. And that higher love can be given by someone who is full of love always and that one is the supreme being of light that supreme being of light is always a loving and full and the love that love is uh, truly unconditional there is nothing that he wants from us right he's there just to give that altruistic love and um when we connect with uh, the supreme love, the higher love, then we are able to uplift ourselves and rise in love. The feeling of as if we are flying in love. And the two things that stop us from experiencing that higher love, that experience of higher love is available to all of us. And it is available 24 by 7. Uh, any place, any time we can connect. But the two things that really block that love um, from us you know, experiencing that higher love is one we spoke about um, is this lower forms of um, uh, indulging what we have come into a state of confusion where we uh, think that lust is love or physical intimacy is what defines love and uh, we saw in the other video that how that is actually stopping us from experiencing the higher love and the other area which stops us from experiencing this higher love is the um, attachments that we have so attachments are like bondages that hold us back just like strings that hold us back uh, into uh, the gross and uh, higher love can be experienced when we come into this consciousness of who we really are this point of light we also understand uh, the supreme being of light he is also a point of light and just like in any relationship of love we need to know and understand the other person in order to experience love with uh, experience love in the interaction with them similarly here too uh, we would suggest and encourage you to know more and uh, understand uh, this uh, the supreme being of light who's full of love who can give us the experience of higher love forever and always. Thank you very much.